Hello everybody, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get to every single fire exit on every single moon. First up, we got experimentation. Alright, so for experimentation, all you have to do is go straight off the ship from the door, as you would normally go to get to the main entrance, which is right there. You're just going to go up the ladder. And off to the left here, you're going to see this little alleyway. There's stairs that go up to the top, and the fire exit is at the top. So here's the main entrance. And here's the fire exit. Next up, we have assurance. So for assurance, all you're going to want to do is turn this way and towards the terminal side of the ship is where the main entrance is, which is in that direction, you're going to want to go right instead. So you just go straight, you're going to see this tall rock with a kind of construction scaffolding, a bunch of metal beams, you're going to climb this ladder, and this is going to bring you all the way to the top of the rock where you can then jump onto the pipe. Once you're on the pipe, turn right, and the fire exit is right here. Once you exit the fire exit, you can either slide down this hill, like so, or you can jump up onto the pipe and walk all the way back. This pipe will bring you to the main entrance, if you want, or you can stop halfway and you can go back to the ship. Also, this pumpkin is not usually here. Cool. Alright, next up we have Val. Val is a super simple one. All you have to do is find the main entrance, and you basically found the fire exit. In order to get there, all you have to do is go out the door, and generally go towards the right. You want to go not completely right, but almost all the way right. Ignore that beehive. And you're going to find either this metal bridge or you're going to find this concrete bridge. And basically, these bridges help you cross this valley. And inside of the valley is the fire exit right there. And as you can see, this is the main entrance. So if you're able to find the facility, you can find the fire exit. All you have to do to get there is run down the sides of the cliff or go all the way around that way, which is unnecessary. In order to get back from the fire exit, all you have to do is run straight this way, and it'll get you out of the valley and then take a right. You can see the bridge there. Your ship should be straight this way. I just scanned and it tells me exactly where it is. Just like so. Moving on to the intermediate level moons, we have Offense. So for Offense, this is one of the few moons where there are multiple ways to get up depending on how you want to play it. The simplest way is to order yourself an extension ladder. Once you have the extension ladder, you can run all the way under this pipe, right next to the ship, and that'll lead you straight to the fire exit. In order to access the fire exit, you have to get up this hill. The fire exit is right up there by that cylinder, or that water tank, I guess. So you just go up on this hill, drop the ladder, point it at this corner, you climb it, and then you should be high enough so that when you're at the top, you're standing on the ladder, you can jump and move forwards. This will get you up onto this cliff face, and all you have to do is run over here. And there you go, there's the fire exit. On your way back, don't forget to pick up your ladder if you want to keep it, and if it's too dangerous, you can always run on top of the pipe. The pipe basically brings you straight back to the ship. If there's a lot of monsters outside, you can even jump straight onto the ship. Now, it's important to note that there are 
two more ways to get into the fire exit, and both of these ways do not require the ladder. All you're going to do is run over to where the fire exit is, and once you get right back in this corner, that's where the ladder is, that's where the fire exit is, and you're going to see a rock on the left. I have infinite stamina on right now, but this is possible without infinite stamina, so I'll turn it off real quick just to show you. Alright, I have now turned off infinite stamina, and I'm going to show you that you can actually jump up this rock and get on top of the pipe. You just want to come over to this right side over here, and there's going to be invisible floor, I guess, or platforms that you can jump onto. You can just scale the side of this rock like this. It's going to bring you all the way up here. And once you jump up far enough, like this, you just run forwards and hold right until you get to the top. And once you get up here, you'll catch yourself right here, and you can jump up to the right. And that's all there is to it. And once you get on this rock, you just jump onto the pipe, and then jump up here, and there's the fire exit. So you don't need a ladder, but this does take a little bit longer, and might take you multiple tries if you're not super experienced with it yet. So make sure you practice this, get it down pat, and then you'll never need a ladder when you're coming to offense. I'll do it again just for demonstration. Jump up the right side, get a higher, and then run and hold right, and then jump. Just like that. So you can see it's pretty consistent if you've practiced it enough, and you won't really be needing a ladder. And now for the final way to get to the fire exit on offense without a ladder. When the ship is landing, you have to come out the front, jump on one of the railings left or right, and time yourself so that you can jump onto this pipe. This does take a few tries to get right, but once you get it, you can do it pretty consistently. The hardest part is probably getting onto the rail in time so that you can make the jump, but the timing definitely becomes easier after you've tried it a couple of times. This is the fastest way to get to the fire exit by far because you don't need to jump anything and you don't need to put a ladder down. You just get straight onto the pipe and you run in. And just to show you, I will go and do it on the other side, on the left rail, so you and a couple of your friends can all make this jump at the beginning of the round. So here we go, we're going to be jumping off of the left railing this time. So go out the door, jump on, and get a running start and take your jump. It's just like that, and we're on the pipe, and we're good to go. And as you can see, if you waste no time, you can be in the facility within 15 minutes, or less. Oh, and here's the main entrance, I guess. Next up, we have March. Now, March is the only moon to have more than one fire exit on the outside, so I will be showing you how to get to every single one. Starting with the one closest to the main entrance, you have the main entrance straight ahead, past the lake. The most efficient way to get to the first fire exit is to go to the left of the lake. So as you can see, here's the lake. If you fall in there, you will die. So go all the way around the left. And instead of turning right to go to the fire exit, you're just going to stay left. And in this foresty area, down in a hole, we have fire exit number one. Me and my friends usually call this the front left fire exit. All right, so the second fire exit on March, as you can see, we are back on the ship. There's the main entrance. Instead of going straight, you are just gonna turn pretty much 90 degrees left this way. You're gonna see, here's the ladder. And you're just gonna run this direction. The fire exit is a little bit more to the left, but it, once we get here, you can actually see it. If you see where my finger is pointing, that's the fire exit. So it's a little bit more than 90 degrees left, maybe 110 degrees left, but you're basically going to run over this hill and voila, you're already here. Very simple, very easy to remember. And once you've gone here a couple of times, you'll never forget it. It's all the way down in a hole though. So if you ever come out of a fire exit from inside and you realize, oh, nice. And you realize, where am I? And you see this really tall wall. That's how you know it's the left fire exit. So you come out of this little valley or this ditch, turn left, 
and you just run straight this direction and the ship will be over this hill. Just like that. Alright, for the third and final fire exit on March, all you're gonna do is think that it's straight behind you. So terminal side of the ship, some people call this the front of the ship, but that can be a little bit confusing sometimes. So I just like to say terminal side or monitor side, I guess. And what you do is you just go around the right side, usually. Run straight down the back and you're gonna see this like little this little ditch here and like a giant crater off to the side this is all quicksand so don't go there uh, which is why we come off to the right <clears throat> you're gonna see this giant mountain here and basically behind this mountain and I guess this mountain too since there's like a valley in between uh, is going to be the fire exit so all you have to do is run straight back from the ship, like this. And you're just gonna stay to the left of the hills. Hugging this side here, as you can see. You can then turn around and you'll see this fire exit up this hill. The next thing is when you're coming back from this fire exit, you can either retrace your steps very simply, you just backtrack around this this wall of the mountain, or you can turn right. But I must warn you, if you do turn right, there is quicksand on this side right here. So be very careful, don't fall into this quicksand. But you can go around the quicksand and then continue past, and you will eventually see this giant crater that we saw earlier with the quicksand in it, and then your ship will be on the right. And that is it for March. Alright, now moving on to the hard moons, Rend, Dine, and Titan. Rend is probably the worst paid moon, and on top of that, the fire exit is, in my opinion, the most difficult to find and the most difficult to navigate back from. I'll be showing you the most direct pathway to get there, and an alternative route that is a little bit easier to follow. So basically when you start it's already foggy because it's Rend and it's a snowy planet or a snowy moon and basically you want to come to the ladder and look out this way you're gonna see the light and you're gonna see all of these trees on the right side. You're gonna go towards this first close tree to the right of the light just like this and then at the top of this mountain or hill you're going to see even more trees you're going to want to run towards them until you get to the top and basically all you have to do is slide down don't i'm not turning at all just slide straight down this mountain try not to die and you'll eventually see another creator right here and all you have to do is slide down into this valley it is not instant death and you will find the fire exit. This might take some practice and you might end up landing down here as well. Um, but either way, once you're in this valley, just run around until you find the fire exit. This is incredibly confusing to find if you don't know exactly where it is. Um, but if you look at the minimap, it could help you get an idea of what your surroundings look like and what kind of you know shape the valley takes. And once you're done looting, all you have to do is exit the fire exit and you're going to face the fire exit and go towards the left side. You're going to see this light up here, you're going to run up the hill towards it a little bit, but then what you're going to do is you're just going to turn right instead. This rock is not always here, it's a randomly generated rock, so don't count on it. And basically the simplest way is to just kind of hug the right like ledge here that goes down into the valley that you were just in. And this should bring you generally back towards the ship. So, see I'm just hugging this right ledge, there's a floating tree. Hugging the right ledge, and you're going to run into this big mountain. So this is the mountain that you first climbed uh, when you were going to the fire exit, and then we slid down the side. So, you're just going to hug the right, or bear right around the mountain. 
and keep scanning and eventually it'll tell you where the ship is but if you don't get that you'll eventually see the lights and then you can find your way back but here is the ship just like that all right so alternatively you can use a different method to find the valley so normally when you're playing on rend you will follow these lights to make your way to the main entrance just like so So now, we are almost at the main entrance, the main entrance being right here. So what you want to do is instead of going towards the main entrance, on the second to last light right here, you see one light, then the main entrance, right? This light, you're just going to take a right. You're going to go around until you see this. So once again, here's the light. Here's a second light, you turn right, and you're gonna see like a part that goes up to the right. You're just gonna go around that, and you'll see the entrance to the valley. And all you have to do is slide down and run straight to the fire exit. And as you can see, this is the way out, just like before. So instead of coming from this side, we're coming from this side. So of course, this following the lights method is less efficient because you're wrapping around an entire mountain and then doubling back, but it might be a little bit easier to find your way to the valley. Just in case the mountain strategy didn't work for you, there's another way. Now let's get out of Ren because this moon is terrible. Alright, for the next moon we have Dine. Dine is a great moon, it gives you great loot and is fairly survivable. It is also cheaper than Titan, so very much worth going. And as you can see when you're flying in, you can kind of see the fire exit in the corner of your eye. So how do we get there? Well, the easiest way is to use a ladder. So all you do is go straight from the door, turn sort of left towards this corner, and you're just going to run straight. It's very, very simple. You're going to see this cliff face. Do not go down the cliff, you will die. So just stay along the edge and it'll eventually bring you to this hill. And at the top of this hill is the fire exit. It's very easy to get to. It's very close to the ship. Your return path is incredibly simple. You just follow along this ledge, just like how you got here and you, the ship is right here. So as you can see, the running distance is not very far at all. It takes about five, 10 seconds to get here. Now the easiest way to get up is to use the ladder, like I said, just like so. Drop it anywhere in this area and you'll be able to either run up and if you can't run up then you can still climb up just like that there is another way to get up here without the ladder and that is to do really annoying parkour i don't suggest this method because it is very inconsistent and difficult but it is possible i know you can do it and i have done it and i will try to do it now just like that it is pretty inconsistent though, unless you are amazing at parkour. I have infinite stamina, so it makes it much easier, but when it's, you know, when you're pressed for time and you're trying to make this jump and you don't have infinite stamina, it gets really tricky. So now I'll be attempting the jump without infinite stamina. Let's jump up here. And uh, yeah, you can see that I'm sliding off. So um, not the easiest jump, it's very much doable, like I said but it's not what you really want to be doing when you're on dine and you're trying to make the most of your money. So just bring a ladder, make it easy for yourself. And just like on offense, don't forget to grab your ladder and bring it back with you before you leave. By the way, main entrance is that way when you follow the lights. All right, last and actually least, we have Titan the most expensive moon and the most efficient moon to be running for high quotas as you will get tons and tons of loot with a high threat level so if you already know how to get to the main entrance chances are you know how to get to the fire exit all you do run towards this light and you're going to see the staircase all you have to do is go up the staircase and you will be greeted by a ladder. Climb the ladder and you will be at the main entrance and the fire exit at the same time. 
So here's the ladder. I'm just gonna go up real quick. There's the main entrance right there. Very simple, very easy. You take a left and on this walkway is the fire exit. Super simple. This is the only fire exit. There's nothing else on this map except for the side staircase. So I might as well explain to you how to get to the side staircase more easily. As you can see, Titan kind of has a complex of these staircases that you might not fully understand if you're just running up this one and using this one. So all you have to do is go the normal way that you would for the main entrance. Ignore that rock, it's a randomly generated rock. And once you get to this platform, you can, instead of going up more, you just go this way to the left. And this will bring you to the side staircase. And this brings you to the fire exit side. So it's just an alternative route. It is probably slower, so I don't see why you would ever want to do this. But maybe if you're avoiding some monsters or you just feel like being different, this could be the way for you. Now because Titan was so boring, I will just show you a quick little trick you can do when you're running Titan. So there's two loot extraction methods that my friend group uses. And that is primarily this one, where you run up to the edge, right in front of the main entrance, on this side, this right side of this this lighting fixture, where it tilts inwards. Because as you can see, the side closer to me is closer to the wall, and the side further from me is like further out from the wall. So when you drop the loot off the edge, it's going to fall straight past as long as you're standing outwards enough, just like this. And when you drop the loot, you'll see it falls past. If you fail to drop the loot far enough out, it will just land on the fixture like that. And that is really annoying. So just uh, do better and drop it all the way down. And once it's fallen down, it'll be on this platform that is right in front of the ship right here. And so it's incredibly easy to run your loot. You just go up the stairs and your loot will be right here. Now once you've grabbed your loot, the second stage is to drop it down here. Because normally, when you have a lot of people running loot, you'll have 12 items just sitting in a stack right here. So you jump up on this rail, you turn around, and you just drop it off the edge. And you just do that with all the loot, you pick it all up, and you stand on this rail, and you drop it off. And now all of your loot will be right here, directly in front of your ship. And all you have to do, pick it up, and run it back. Super simple, super easy, and very, very effective. And the other method is arguably more, more efficient, but maybe a little bit annoying to do. But basically, if you have a loot runner that knows what they're doing, and not the terminal guy, ideally, then once you exit the main entrance, you can take a ladder that you brought with you on your way up, and you're gonna just point it towards the ship pretty much at about not quite a 45 degree angle, but like outwards more like this. You just drop the ladder like so. It's going to go out like this and you go all the way to the edge of the ladder and drop your items off this direction. And I will take the fall so you know where the items land. Boom, right here, right in front of your ship. So this saves you the step of dropping it onto the platform and then dropping it onto the ground. You can just drop it straight onto the ground from the ladder. The only annoying thing is the ladder can be a little bit finicky um, and you will have to be careful about falling off now since you can die to fall damage after the recent updates. At the end of the day, if you have a squad, I think it's probably easier to just tell them to drop it off the side ledge and then when you're running the loot, you could just, you know, jump on this railing and drop it off. Very simple, very easy, and super effective. And there you have it, that is every single fire exit on every single moon covered, what, whether or not you need a ladder to get there, and ways to get there without ladders. I hope this video helped you, and I hope that you can impress your friends by knowing where every single fire exit location is. Knowing where you're going in this game, how to get there, and how to get back from all the different locations is super crucial in this game because it will save you time, and it will save you confusion, and you can make it back to the ship safely. If you have any more questions about the fire exits or anything related, then just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you for watching, and as always, you are a valuable asset to the company.